uh, my breakthrough happened when I met that lady when she paid my school fees and she was a total stranger and when I told her I have a baby she at first okay she, she didn't tell me instantly she doesn't believe me but it was only courtesy uh, for me to just uh, register my units then come to give her feedback the following week which I did so I when I went to give her feedback I also went with my baby and she loved her and that's when now I would say we met our breakthrough because because of her we have been guaranteed we have been sort of guaranteed accommodation here here at the school the fact that we have been living here it's been very easy for us to find opportunities because there has been internet connection and everything so in my Facebook I came across the Little Miss Kenya things I registered my daughter I came up across Little Miss World I registered my daughter and in both she really excelled and she was loved and eventually it has really come about just by me staying here uh, knowing that food is guaranteed, accommodation is guaranteed, I am going to school, like, I have been able to think straight. When I told my mom that I have found someone to pay my fees, she was really happy. She was, she, she was like, oh, I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew you would go to school and I knew it was not my money that will take you there. Yeah, so she was very happy for me and for herself. She's, be, she's very proud of me. Yeah, so I can say in all these three scenarios that God has been faithful, first of all. And another thing, I feel like I have that purpose to fulfill that is not small. And the fact that I have been through it all and I have survived it and I can still stand and smile I think I am in a better position to talk to someone who is going through the same or maybe worse and it's just it gives me a sense of empathy it put it put me on a higher position to empathize with someone from the three scenarios uh, given that I tried suicide it did not work I tried abortion it did not work then I come to Nairobi and a total stranger just helps me get like the breakthrough of my lifetime. Uh, I, I would say, first of all, God is faithful. And also, I have a purpose in this life that I have to fulfill, which can never be cut short, like no matter how I tried. Yeah, so I think I just, I just want to live and fulfill that purpose. And yeah, it's just been encouraging me to just wait on God and for those things I've gone, on, uh, gone through, I feel I'm in a better position to empathize with people, people who are going through my situation or uh, maybe worse or better. So I would say those scenarios have helped me to put myself in someone else's shoe. Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm five years old. I want to be a presenter and a pilot and a doctor when I grow up. My mom loves me. You know, I don't have a father. It's like my father denied me. He left me when I was a, ba a baby. So I have no father, I just only know my mom. Yeah, I will just only want to see my mama because I only know my mom. 